Some my friends, welcome back to the channel, always with you in the short way. In this video, I'm going to start a brand new series for Android interview question. So let's get starting with the first problem. So here we have this interview question and this question was asked by Microsoft. I received this problems on daily coding problem. You can view their website here. They are a great way to improve your interview skills so you can check them here. Okay, so this is the first problem. And this problem is saying the following. It's saying that we want to implement single to pattern but with twist. So here is the first thing. So we want to store two instances instead of one instance. This is the normal thing. And then for every even call, right, for the get instance, we return the first one. Otherwise, we return the second one. This is the thing. Now, we won't just solve the question because we want to share what should happen during the interview. So the first thing when the interviewer asks this question, we should think why the interviewer is asking me this question, what he wants to know exactly. So this kind of question has multiple things. It has this singleton pattern. So by asking this question, let's say you don't know what is the singleton pattern because the singleton pattern is part of design patterns. So the interviewer will ask you this question so he can know whether you know the patterns or not. So this is a great question, right? So if you don't know design patterns, in most cases, like all OOP developers must know at least some of the patches or know there is something called design patches. Why is that? Because they are so famous. First, knowing them doesn't mean always using them. Knowing them means if you fall into the same situation, you can solve it with the same solution as in design patches. So this is the first thing. The second thing we notice that this is kind of single pattern. It means OOP thing. We know that there is something related to OOP. So the interviewer want to see whether we can hide, because as you can see, there is a lot of implementation going on here for even call and odd call we want to return different instances. So we want to encapsulate this logic well so we can share our OOP knowledge. Another thing related to this question is also whether you are thinking about multi-threading environments because this is a big problem when there are multiple clients requesting for instances from this uh, single to pattern, right? So we need to take into account this. And the most important thing in our free interview question is the communication skills whether you are communicating well your solution and also whether you are asking good questions. So keep in mind those things when doing your interview. And part of this communication is ask for more details. So the first thing you may ask him, well, do I need to write tests for that? Or I don't need to write tests. This to represent that you are proficient in tests and you can write tests based on the interview answer. Right? So always start by communicating. So I will act as I'm communicating to you, which is your, your, my interview. So if you want to implement the single to pattern, of course, you are going to have a class, definitely. And since you are in Kotlin, you may acknowledge something you know about Kotlin. Usually in Kotlin, you can implement directly the single to pattern using the object. Okay, we can name it singleton like that. And then you can have a function that can return an instance. This is shows to your interviewer that you know basic things about Kotlin. So let's start by implementing the class. Okay, and let's make it singleton. And then we want to implement this method. So we know in Kotlin, we can't do directly methods.getInstance like that. We need to create them as part of companion object. So we need to create that companion object. And then we have a function called getInstance by which it will return us an instance of singleton like that. And here we are going to do just to do like that. So we are trying to create the public API first. Always try to communicate with the interviewer. So the first thing about Singleton we know is that they have a private constructor. So how we implement the private constructor in Kotlin, you can do it like that. You can create private and constructor like that. That will be a great thing to do. That's the first thing. And then we need to check. Here we have two instances, right? Instead of storing one instance, we store two instances. And you can do that in Kotlin immediately, right? You can create private vol like the following. You can call it first instance. Here also the interviewer try to see the style of coding. Instead of naming it A, for example, we are naming it proper names, as you can see. So we can name it singleton like that. That's the first thing. We need to do the second thing, which is the second instance. So he can see uh, the proper coding style. But we are doing an error here, which is initializing directly this instances. Usually we don't do it immediately. We do it only when we want its value. We should create it lazily, okay? You can ask uh, the interviewer whether it is fine like that. Maybe for this kind of interview, it's fine. At least he wants to know that you are thinking about this lazy initialization, okay? You can do it in Kotlin in a simple way. You can do it lazy like that. And same thing for this one, okay? That's lazy initialization. 
right always try to communicate okay now we need to think to know whether we are in the first call or in the second call so we need to catch this using some kind of counter so we can name some kind of counter and this counter well can be zero the beginning and then here we can return it based on that counter if that counter is for example even we are going to return the first instance which is first instance right you can do the return here directly else we are going to return the second instance okay that's pretty fine now as you can see here this won't work because we are using directly this thing we should have to use the value here right but we can use the by keyword here which is this one we can use the by so we can get the instance directly but, and here of course you need to update this counter let's say you just forget because we usually forget so we need to test this program right always try to get feedback on your code immediately right so you can create a function here let's call output like this is a function of our singleton i'm going to print only the instance of this singleton this is thing will print me kind of the address right so i can call this multiple times so what i can do i can do singleton like that dot get instance and here i can do output i can do it four times to check that I'm calling the right instance every time. So here and here, I should get the same value. I can start running my program and I can check what I'm calling. I'm calling always the same instance. Like this is a way to check we are calling the same instance or not. So I know that my program has a problem. So using this kind of feedback, you are telling the interviewer that you are a rapid feedback person, which is a good thing. So understand that there is a problem here, okay? We can fix this problem easily like that. And you can, of course, after each thing, we can do counter plus plus, and we can just move this here. Same thing, we can do counter plus plus here, okay? We notice that our var, we need to be updated to var, and then we can check our implementation. So the implementation is correct. Here is the first instance, and here is the second instance. We can give it names here when we are calling, but this is sufficient to test. You can always ask, like this is the thing, always ask the interviewer about his options. Maybe he wants to prefer like passing a name for this instance. Basically, we can have a name for the instance, right? We can call it, for example, val name. And he, using that name, can differentiate both instances, right? You can do it like the following, instance, and here one and two here. And then we can basically, we can just output name instead of doing the reference. Okay, exactly, it is working as expected. And now you may ask the interviewer for other constraints. You need to show him that you are aware of some problems, but whether he wants you to tackle those or not. The first and major problem using the singleton is the threading. You may ask your interviewer the following, like this is obvious. You want me to do some synchronized block for these checks for the counter and stuff like that. And he will ask you, yeah, definitely do that. First thing we can do is this check and this update because we are checking and then we are updating. Maybe at the moment of checking, there is other instance that is updating, which may be a problem. So how to do that? Usually we solve this with atomic number, okay? The atomic integer, and then we give it zero at the beginning. And here we can do the following. We can do counter dot get and increment, which is this one. So we will get it and increment it. And this is atomic operation. Either this will happen or not. So this will represent that you are doing the threading here safely. Another thing, we did it implicitly, which is this lazy. When there is someone accessing this first instance, I mean, which is initializing this instance for the first time, usually this lazy have mod for the synchronization. You can go to lazy here, and you are going to see that there is something called safety mod. The safety mode, usually it is by default synchronized. As you can see, we are using the synchronized lazy block here, as you can see. And if you go to synchronize, simply lock are used to ensure that only single thread can initialize the lazy instance. We are doing that by default, right? But you need to show that to your interview. Like this is really crucial. So he can understand that you understand what you are using, are not just using lazy because everybody is using lazy. Now you understand what you are using. So this is a great example to demonstrate this lazy property and also atomic integer. And we solve the problem of singleton. Sometimes the interviewer may ask you for extra thing. What about adding this one? What about adding this one? Always carefully reply to his answer. Maybe he wants to make a trap for you, so you be aware of that. Maybe he want to ask you why we are not doing that. Always think about the basics of this pattern and see if it's conflict or not, okay? And maybe he will ask you for some refactoring you can do. Here, for example, we can just remove the parentheses, 
like that and we make it simple like that or we can also do add enter and we can go to the return convert to expression body and here you go here is the implementation of this thing so always try to respect some good clean code practices such as naming for example and also think about the abstraction when are doing interviews related to OOP. that's basically it for this video if you have any interview question please send us to us we'll try to cover it whether it is pure android and also simple problems like that we can solve them in kotlin and i've created a discord server in which you can post your questions see updates regarding my videos and problems like that and you can post your questions related to android interview question in the channel for that purpose so that's it for this video thanks a lot and see you in the next videos Salam alaikum.